leader of the opposition party Pierre Polyev he is here in Brampton today on the special request of youth of Canada youth of Brampton so youth want to share their views what they feel about economy about the high crime rate about the inflation and about the affordability let's see what Pierre has a message to the youth of Canada what youth want to say to their opposition leader to the government and uh, what are their views on different subjects because we want you to come forward in the politics and share their views how they feel those youth those who are newcomer here those youth ho, those who are uh, born here so it matters when youth have their views on the subjects of the country it matters a lot let's have a look what youth have to say as someone born in canada i feel like we face a lot of challenges finding a job so we need a change vote for pierre Hi, this is Ruby from Bonnie Jewelers. Small businesses are struggling right now and we need a new government in place to show some change. So we support the conservatives. Thank you. Pierre, lot of youth here and big support to you. Thank so you. so what is your message to the youth of the country now? Well, first of all, I want to congratulate uh, the beautiful uh, owners of this facility, this beautiful business, Bonnie Jewelers, uh, Ruby, uh, and uh, Pranji have opened this place a year ago. They're working hard to build a business, but like everyone else, they're struggling. They're sprinting seven days a week just to pay their bills. Uh, my message to the youth, though, is that life was not like this before Justin Trudeau. It won't be like this after he's gone. We're going to bring home the country where hard work pays off with a powerful paycheck that affords a uh, good food and a good home and a safe neighborhood. And we're going to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime. Uh, Pierre, the uh, economy is not in that great shape and crime no. is very high. Inflation, affordability is one yes. of the main issue. And youth of the country, they see hope in you. Yes. That's the reason there is so much of big crowd yeah. here. And across Canada, youth has a hope on you. Yes. And they say many are the first time voters, many will be voting again yes so that is the future of the country that's right so but they feel that they are being betrayed by the leaders whenever they come they make big promises so what is your promise to the youth of the country not only well, here but to the <clears throat> canada -wide. my promise is that we're going to bring home the canada that we had before trudeau mm -hmm. a canada where you know the average house was about four hundred thousand dollars the average mortgage payment was about thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars the average rent was nine hundred and Seventy-four dollars, and you know, obviously, there is going to be a, some inflation in, in life, but we don't. It doesn't make sense that we would be more than double the cost in just nine years. Uh, the good news is life wasn't like this before Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. He's not worth the cost. The better future ahead for us is to axe the carbon tax, build the homes with by requiring the cities permit fifteen percent more home building per year, uh, fix the budget with a dollar for dollar law to bring down interest rates, inflation and uh, income tax and stop the crime with jail, not bail for repeat offenders, with treatment, not more drugs for addicts and with stronger ports and borders to keep illegal drugs and guns out and keep the stolen cars in a, from being sent uh, overseas. That's how we're going to do it. So will you cut the income tax for the country? Yes. Okay. We wish you all the best. Thank you very much, Thank Nathan. You. Great to Thank be with you. you. Let's bring it home. Thank, Thank you. you. We want change in Canada and we want Pierre to bring it home. Um, so the reason that we're gathered out here to support Pierre Paul Revere today is because we need a change in the society and we think that Pierre is what will make it happen. There's been too many carjackings, too many break-ins. Everything's out of place. There's no jobs for our youth. And we sincerely believe that Pierre Paul Revere is the change that this country needs. I think we can speak for all of the youth and say that I don't think the youth is pretty content with what's happening with the economy since there's no jobs for us, everything is going out of price, everything is becoming super unaffordable. Hello everyone, this is Parmji from Barney Jewelers and we support Conservative Party for the next campaign. Make sure you guys vote here. We want to see Canada move forward again. Thank you. 
ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਪਰਮ ਗਿੱਲ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਥੇ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਪਟਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਤੇ ਲਕਾਸਟ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪਲਾਜ਼ਾ ਹੈ ਬਾਨੀ ਜੂਲਰ ਦੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਸਾਡਾ ਲੀਡਰ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੰਸਰਵੇਟਿਵ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦਾ ਪੀਅਰ ਪੋਲੀਐਫ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਥੋੜੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਟੋਰ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਓਨਡ ਬਾਈ ਯੂਥ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਭਾਰੀ ਗਿਣਤੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਯੰਗ ਬੱਚੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਆਪਣਾ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਟੂ ਮੀਟ ਵਿਦ ਪੀਅਰ ਪੋਲੀਐਫ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਪੀਅਰ ਪੋਲੀਐਫ ਦੀ ਯੂਥ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਯੰਗ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਬਸੋਲੂਟਲੀ ਇਨਕ੍ਰੈਡਿਬਲ ਐਂਡ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦਿ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਗਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਟੂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਥਮ ਸੋ ਥੋੜੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸਾਡਾ ਲੀਡਰ ਪੀਅਰ ਪੋਲੀਵੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਟ ਕਰੂਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਐਵਰੀ ਵਨ ਵਨਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਫੋਰ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਬੀਇੰਗ देयर ਫੋਰ ਮੀ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਹੈਲੋ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਾਣੀ ਜੂਲਰਸ ਤੋਂ ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਕੁਐਸਟ ਕਰਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਪੀਅਰ ਪੋਲੀਵ ਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਕਰੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ not only the adult of the country sports the pr but the youth of the country also support the pr because we want to reduce the crime uh, as day by the day uh, crime is at the peak so uh, in order to uh, reduce the crime we supports the pr for the welfare of the youth and the welfare of the people we are with the pr Hi it's Arpan Khanna member of parliament for Oxford uh, it is an honor to join here today with Bonny Jewelers the great young professional team who is hosting us today for a youth rally uh, with our next prime minister Pierre Polyev um, as many uh, youth have been telling us I've been traveling across the country they feel like that Canadian promise is now slipping away if you worked hard played by the rules you can get ahead but after 9 years of Justin Trudeau housing costs have doubled mortgage payments have doubled rent has doubled the down payment needed to buy a home has doubled and we have 9 and 10 young Canadians saying they'll never be able to own a home crime chaos drugs and disorder are ravaging across our communities every single day so after 9 years of Trudeau we're seeing a lot of damage in our community we're seeing our young folks now struggling to get by and 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 build a great family and life for themselves so that's why Pierre Polyev is coming today to share his positive vision to ask the tax build the homes fix the budget and stop the crime and it's good to see momentum building up before the next federal election so our team is ready we're excited to go and it's it's good to see young professionals joining our our blue uh, movement that we're building across the country. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone. Thank you all for coming here today. I want to especially thank our future prime minister here. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Pierre Pinkana, Parm Gill, and Shamshir Gill for making this event possible and for making us feel heard. Jewelry businesses are considered elite businesses as you all know um but actually they've been struggling for the past few years um we are struggling to make our bare minimum sales to afford our expenses today now that's not because of uninterested customers that's actually because of the economy if people can't afford their groceries their houses how are they supposed to afford jewelry um i know you might think buying jewelry is a luxury but for many of us it's part of our traditions it's part of our culture it's been passed down generations and it goes back thousands of years and we want to see those traditions and cultures back um and we need a new government to do so thank you very much ruby for that great introduction and for summarizing how all canadians feel uh, this is the story we hear again and again i was just out door knocking in hamilton i met a young guy he's a teacher and he lives with his parents wow. a teacher My parents were teachers. They had homes when they were in their 20s. This young guy says he doesn't know when he'll ever be able to afford a home. And meanwhile, we see so many of our brightest people saying they're going to leave Canada. They're going to go back to India, they're going to go south to the US or find a place in the Caribbean. I met a couple the other day. They're from the East Coast and they moved to Ecuador. And I thought, well, what are your roots there? there we have no latin roots whatsoever no south american connections whatsoever they grew up in atlantic canada they have scottish and irish names and they just sat down one day and said we got to get out of here wow. and they opened up their laptops and they scanned the whole world and said anywhere but here and you heard it's just can you imagine just what happened for them when your family came here what year was that that was in 88 1988 And would they have ever have a, would you have ever imagined that they would come here that people would come here Absolutely. to this country and say I'm getting out of town? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And uh, Harlem lived the Canadian dream. It's just like our pen, just like uh, Shamji. They came here, they worked hard, they built an incredible life. Current common sense conservative member of parliament, future 
uh, past and future Conservative Member of Parliament, but all through hard work uh, in a country where hard work once paid off. But under eight, sorry, nine years of Trudeau, housing costs have doubled, everything costs more, work doesn't pay, you make it, he takes it. And if, God forbid, you take a risk, mortgage your house to start a business, and you succeed, then he wants to punish you later on for your success, which discourages people from ever taking big risks and creating beautiful businesses like this one. But the good news is, life was not like this before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone. Thank you. home the Canada we knew and still love, a Canada where hard work pays off with a powerful paycheck and pension that buys affordable food, gas, and homes in safe neighborhoods. We have a common sense plan to achieve that mission. Ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime. Ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime. We will ax the, the Trudeau carbon tax to lower gas, heat, and grocery bills. It is a tax on farmers who bring, bring us our food by axing the tax, they can do that more affordably and you can afford groceries again. We're going to fix the budget by capping government spending and cutting government rates to bring down deficits, inflation, interest rates, and income taxes. By lowering income tax, you will bring home more of each dollar you earn and hard work will be rewarded again. Your tax income will mean people can once again enjoy the opportunity to come out and treat their loved one to a beautiful piece of jewelry, uh, to honor uh, a parent, uh, or give a, a multi-generational gift to a child who will one day pass it on uh, to uh, their eventual grandchildren. Uh, that kind of legacy should be celebrated. And it should be possible here in Canada, where we should be the richest country in the world. Uh, think about it. We have the most resources, uh, the most land per capita, farmland, living space. We have the, we're bordering the biggest economy in the history of the world, the United States, which helps with our national defense. We don't have two coasts, we have four. We have a south coast on the Great Lakes in St. Lawrence, a north coast, into the Arctic, and then we have the West and East Coast, access to all the, the nations of the world. We have the smartest people, the best people from anywhere in the world live right here in Canada. So we have the most fresh water. We have everything we need to be happy here. We need to get the bureaucracy and the gatekeepers out of the way to, to, to allow that success to happen. We're going to build the homes by requiring cities permit 15% more home building as a condition of their federal funds while selling off 6,000 federal buildings and thousands of acres of federal land to build, build, build. We will cut taxes on home buildings so it's more affordable to build and buy a home. We'll back the trades uh, because we need boots and not suits in order to build those homes for the future. We're going to make those homes in safe neighborhoods with jail and not bail for repeat violent offenders with treatment, not decriminalized drugs for our, to get our kids off these poisons. You know, Crudo wants to decriminalize crack and heroin in children's parks. That is wacko. That is. We don't need wacko, we need common sense. And we're gonna ban the hard drugs and put people in treatment. We're going to allow licensed, law-abiding, trained and tested sport shooters and hunters to keep their firearms and instead right. put the money into bolstering our borders and ports to keep illegal drugs and guns from coming in and stolen cars from going out. We're going to bring home safety. We're going to bring home the country we love. We're going to bring home the common sense. The common sense of the common people united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. Hey. Hey.